Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what I'd like to do in this video is kind of explain to you what exactly are compound inequalities. Now previously when we dealt, dealt with inequalities, you know, we just had uh, an inequality and we just had to solve and once we had our solution then we just you know plotted the point and said all right are the solutions to the right you know true or to the left true um, which one is it well we're dealing with compound inequality all the only really difference in compound inequalities is now you're just not dealing with one inequality now you're dealing with um, two inequalities that are going to be joined by the words and or or and it's very very important to understand how that how and and or um, are going to affect our solution there's two different ways we write ands. Uh, we can either say, you know, this inequality and that inequality, or sometimes we write it in this compound form. Now, basically, this form is just the same thing as me writing it like this. But sometimes we write it in this compound form um, because it's, some, it's actually easier if you wanted to do it together rather than doing these separately. But basically, when you're solving a compound inequality, you can just solve each inequality separately. But the important thing comes in is how are we going to graph them, right? Because you're going to have two inequalities. And um, over here, this is an or statement. So it's going to be one inequality or the other. So basically, when we're looking at a compound inequality, all right, um, when we're looking at a compound inequality that has the deal and, for an inequality, let's say you graph um, an inequality, and here, that's one inequality, right? And then the other inequality looks like this. Right? So you graph each of your inequalities separately for an AND function. Well, an AND function only talks about where the two inequalities are true for both of them. So it has to be true for both of them. So what you can see is this inequality, the in new inequality, is only true between these two values. So when I go and graph the inequality, I'm not graphing each of these separately. I'm only going to graph the values that are true for both inequalities. And that's very, very important when understanding the AND. You still graph them separately, right? And you graph, you can graph them separately. But when you graph the and um, for the inequality, you only graph where they intersect. On contrary, when you're dealing with an or, an or for it to be true for an or inequality, it needs to only be true for one or for both of those inequalities. So all we need to do is have one value that's true. And let's say this inequality looks like this, and this one again, I'm just making up terms. This one looks like this. So therefore, these inequalities, if I choose a number and it's true for that one, then it works. And if I choose that one, then it works. So it only needs to be true for one of the inequalities. So we graph them still both. But basically, think of and as the intersection. All right? But there you go, there you go ladies and gentlemen. That is your basic understanding of a compound inequality. Thanks.